James, last Saturday's victory against FC Fylde means it's now one defeat in six in the league. It's it's important to keep picking up points, even though maybe within that run you'd inevitably you'd like a couple more points. Yes, I think it was said on Saturday. I think Gary said it in his post match that um, you know this time last year we had a bit of a slump as well, and November hasn't been too kind to us. But you know we're picking up more points than we did last year in this slump. But also it's a completely different season. We must remember that and completely different circumstances so um, we're pleased to get back to winning ways on Saturday against an informed team. Are you pleased with how the squad have adapted to, to different roles? You've asked players to fill in different positions there. Versatility was a key word last year and it, it seems to be so this year as well. Yeah, uh, we obviously changed a few positions around on Saturday um, but we did that regularly last year. Um, what's important is that we've been able to fill the bench uh, with more experience if you like and they can have an impact off the bench as well, which is part and parcel of the game. You know, you look in the second half behind you and you want to have impact. And I thought, although Manny uh, red card might have seen harsh at the time, you can see what the referee's given it. Um, but other than that, he made an impact up to that point and so did the other two. Are you seeing that greater depth in the squad this season? Yeah, well, not at the moment because obviously we had so many injuries, but gradually they're coming back. And as I said, I'm looking behind us now during the game and we've got options off the bench who can, can change the game, so it's pleasing. Um, obviously Matty's sort of 10 days away and so is Jake Cole, uh, who's picked up a hamstring injury. Uh, but Lewis has come in and done very well, so there's competition there now. You mentioned Jake Cole, it is just a hamstring injury, there's no other issues? No, no, no other issues. He's, uh, he's working hard with Russ. Um, he picked a hamstring injury up uh, two weeks ago in training, in the warm-up, which is unfortunate. Um, but these things happen and as I said Lewis has come in and we've got competition for places there now. At the other end the team are, are now the outright top scorers in this division, I think 13 different goal scorers across the team, that that's, must be pleasing where goals are coming from all areas of the pitch. Yeah you can flip it both ways, uh, you know goal scorers are hard to come by in the, in the market and you have to pay for those. Um, but on the flip side of that, we've got, like you just said, 13 different goal scorers and we're the top goal scorers in the league. So we're pleased with that element of it. At the other end, um, we're disappointed with the goal again on Saturday. It came out of nowhere. Um, but we're looking to cut those errors out. And once we do, hopefully we'll get it both uh, right at both ends and uh, we'll be firing on all cylinders. Away at Hartlepool this weekend, they struggled at the start of the season, maybe took time to adjust, but now... They're, they're on a, a decent run themselves. Do you think their league position, they are rising up the table, but do you still think their league position is somewhat false? They're, clearly they'll be very tough opposition. Yeah, well obviously they're a league club. Uh, they did have a slow start, but a new manager went in. Um, I'm sure he's stamped his authority on the group now and um, they'll be looking to get in those playoff places on Saturday as they pop above us. If they beat us, we've got to make sure we go there. Um, we get a back-to-back -back winning streak on, on the go and um, I'm sure we're more than capable of doing that. They're on a decent run but I think they've still only won one of their last four home games so they're, I think they're better away from home than, than at Victoria Park. You could say that um, but it is a tough place to go. Obviously it's a fair old distance for us to travel up but we'll be ready. Uh, we've trained really well this week, got another session coming up now so we're looking to go up there, be organised and uh, make sure we give it uh, our full 100% effort. There's been more player movement this week. Cameron Pring has been recalled. Cody Lyons Foster is back in the group. What's how, how how's the squad shaping up? Well, pleased that Cody's back. He's had five games now, five starts um, in the league below, which is positive. He needed that. Um, unfortunately, he got that sending off at Eastleigh when he started so well. So he'll be looking to come back and make an impact for himself to break into the team. And that again, that's competition with places, which is what we want. Last year we had uh, obviously a smaller group of players but we got away with injuries, we didn't have many and there was always competition so we could move things around. We're just getting back to that now and we're pleased. And Mark Smith has gone out to Eastbourne with Lewis coming in and doing well, Mark needs games. Yeah, similar to Cody, Chris and, and Sean, you know, there's no point um, if they're not getting game time, there's no point using those players when they've been off for so long, it's important they're sharp. So. You know, even if it leaves us a little bit light on the bench, which it has done the last couple of weeks, but we know what's coming back in. So we've had to bite the bullet there to make sure that Sean, Chris and Mark in this instance are ready. When they come back, uh, they can make an impact in the team. 
more versatility, as I mentioned earlier, Callum Reynolds filled in at left back very well on Saturday. Is that still a position that you're that you're looking for a more permanent solution, perhaps? Yes. <laughs> but nothing, nothing no, yet. No, nothing at the moment. But we've got to make sure we get the uh, the right player. Um, with the January window opening as well, we're also where we can uh, the Premier League comes into that into that market, into the loan market. So we'll see what happens, whether it's permanent or loan. But first and foremost, we've got to make sure we identify the right player. How's how's the rest of the squad looking? You say a couple of players are maybe ten days away from returning. Is do we do we travel to Hartlepool in reasonably good health? We do because uh, I'm confident whatever player puts the shirt on, uh, we've got a good group here, and. Um, Saturday I was really pleased with the way we played in the first half. I think I did it an injustice after the game when I've said we'd done okay, but slightly better than okay, but we did a lot more than okay. We, we dominated the game. We had many shots on target, final third entries, we played very well. Uh, second half, again, I was disappointed with the goal we conceded and that rocked us a little bit, but to show the character and to win late on like that, we were in good spirits and we'll be ready for Saturday. Excellent, thank you James, we'll see you there. Thank you.